Hello everyone, my name is Nakash Ahmed and you are watching my channel Notch365 Academy. I am receiving a tremendous amount of positive feedback from you guys. I really 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 thank you so much for watching my videos on Microsoft Teams especially and uh, do not forget to subscribe it please and if you want you can share it with others. So in today's video I am going to show you uh, yet another Microsoft Teams video but with the new application and actually this application got recently uh, available journal available by microsoft it is called microsoft lists so microsoft lists uh, is actually what you can say if you are if you have worked on sharepoint list then it is similar to that because uh, sharepoint list are some are like of, like of tables or database that you manage and then you can integrate with power automate power uh, power apps or any other application of uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft List uh, is actually a yet another application, a new application similar to SharePoint List, uh, but it has been integrated with Teams recently uh, just to uh, have the productivity uh, and for, for, the, for, the, for the project management team, for the teams like uh, which are managing uh, quizzes, projects, uh, teachers who are making, making projects, making reports, making assignments so they can manage their student records uh, using lists. So it's a very useful uh, application which Microsoft has introduced. So I'm going to show you some few ways how to create this list and how to share it and how to work on it. Okay, so let's start. So like always I am in my desktop Microsoft Teams. Uh, sign in as a global administrator or a teacher you could you would say I'm in my team now 65 education you can see it here and uh, what you can do is you can just simply go to app section which is in the lower end corner apps and type here lists so you can see it list by microsoft this is the application which recently got available here so just click on it so you can see some description here content management and productivity it is also available in different languages but these are some permissions that you need okay let me add it to the team let me tell him the channel okay set up a tab so it will add it as a tab save it so here you go we have lists here okay now we have two options either we create a new list as a blank or we do it as an existing list let me first start with an existing list what options we have uh, we can we have some options of a SharePoint link link if you have a list already on SharePoint you can just drop a link of it okay or if you can you can have it from the team okay from any other team if you want so i have it right here i previously created so you can see it my list got pop up so you can see the columns here work item description category progress priority uh, you would find it similar to the list that you find it in the planner okay you can see the start date date end date assigned and notes like this now you can also export it you can also open it in a browser okay and uh, there are some filters here i will show you and uh, some sorting also all right let's create our first item in this list so you can also see this this uh, form that you that popped up uh, it is similar to that that you use in planner microsoft planner if you haven't watched my video on planner you can watch that video uh, in my microsoft teams playlist okay so let me add a work item here you can add description the category Category, you can design it as a planning. You, you can where it stands right now. It has it hasn't been started yet. The priority should be high. The start date end date. You can mention that as a calendar date picker. Uh, 
starting from today due date is 11th and who would be assigned it to so let me assign it to myself okay and any further notes that you want any attachment that you need to have it just click save so here you have it you have this list item here right in front of you okay you can see the formatting here formatting is similar to that one you do it in shape and list okay so if i go here in the column setting you can also do the format this column you can see it is already set up my choice fields if i go to advanced mode you can type the code as well okay you can group by priority you can filter it by any other stuff you can move it left so the column will be moved to left okay you can also do some functions here like we have total function of count so count function will be also be available like you can see it in the top it's only one item so one count okay uh, what else we have if we go to the date column you can edit it and you can see if you want to any if you want to include the time yes if you want to have it a friendly format any code default value any calculated value so if you want this to be information as required or mandatory you can also do that okay let's save it so this is the same kind of feature if i remember it very right it's like a shape and list say okay if i go to assign to you can format this column as well you can see the code here this is json's code uh, let's see the formatting of date columns you can see the format dates conditional formatting or format dates like this so let me do it like this okay so these are the some kind of formatting you can sort those in as a priority as a work item in progress you can save the view whatever you like it okay so this is the list uh, as a uh, LMS development which I uh, had imp uh, imported from an existing list okay from another team so let me add one more list because I have added, added it right now so I all I have to do is I have to go once again in the app add it again add to team in the same channel set up a tab click finish so you can see another list has been added but this time I'm going to use this option from the blank so if I go with blank I have several several templates here if you see it the templates uh, are there for just for your help just for you letting it know to how to start it so let me choose which one work progress tracker so if you are a teacher and if you want to uh, uh, have a progress tracker of your students for some kind of a project for some kind of a presentation you can uh, use this uh, template so this is a preview version of it uh, if you click use template so it will ask you the name last one physics project you can add a description here let me choose some color some icon just for having to distinguish between another list uh, you can place an icon create so you can see the name has been changed to class 1 physics project so once again let me add some work item here Kinematics. search work not started yet it's medium due date is uh, 8th from and 25 who has been assigned it to let's see if you have any other let's yes we have it let's add it another one 
okay so two students why it is not getting the second one oh I think it will not okay so it will not assign it to multiple persons at once well that is bad it has to be done but uh, the group will work here if you have a group of students so you can add a group uh, let's see if I have any I think this is a group maybe uh, anyways let's leave it if you have a office 365 group you can add it as well okay save it so here you go you have it one list item here you can I already showed you the formatting types the quick edits if you go to the quick edits you can simply quickly add it right uh, from the uh, work item uh, sorry new item so it is, if you have worked on SharePoint list you will find it very very easy easy to learn but if you haven't worked on my uh, SharePoint list so you it might take some time for, to you for to learn it because it is very easy okay so what you can do is you can if you can select it you can copy its link and uh, link has been copied so it has been shared with people in my domain allow editing so all I have to do is I have to only share it this link that's it so this is how it works okay if I go to my previous list which was made up from an existing one we have the same option delete edit copy link okay so here you go uh, this was all about Microsoft list if you find it really useful if uh, if the if it is not available for you right now uh, I think you have to wait because Microsoft is currently rolling it out I, I just got it a few days back in my tenant that's why I thought to have it make a start a video on it so uh, if there is if it doesn't show up in the app section uh, don't worry it will be showing up uh, maybe sooner or later so, uh, and then you can watch my video to just to know how it works okay thank you so much for watching my video do not forget to subscribe my channel and do watch my videos if you haven't watched yet okay thank you so much